Mass Effect goes deeper in space with a new Andromeda trailer. Plunderman gives you the creep in a new documentary. Nintendo offers you the Nintendo Hustle. And Tron invades Grand Theft Auto Online. All that and more in today's Last Week's Gaming News. Roll the intro. In today's first article of news, last week was met with the release of the new PlayStation 4 Pro. If you've been living under a rock for a while, the PS4 Pro features a new 4K support for gaming, and it also features the HDR update that was released a couple months ago. Many gamers waited in line for the release of the new console, and PlayStation did their usual first-in-line photo op which they usually do every time at big events. One of the biggest complaints from the PlayStation community is the lack of 4K optical drives to play blue 4K Blu-rays. But Sony did mention that the Netflix app on the new PlayStation 4 Pro will support 4K streaming. Many critics still put into question the relevance of the new PS4 Pro, stating that this might fracture the player base of the PlayStation 4 itself, also stating that the release is unnecessary since the, new, the PlayStation 4 is leading the charge in console sales. Personally, I don't know how this is all going to fall into place, but one thing is for sure, Lara Croft sure does look better on the PlayStation 4 Pro. On to the next story. A new Mass Effect Andromeda trailer was released last week, showing some of the enemies, gameplay, and much more. Although the trailer did not mention a release date for the new game, it was mentioned that Andromeda takes place 600 years after the events of Mass Effect 2. This is the time when Andromeda left the Milky Way to explore a new galaxy. Also announced at the same time was that Mass Effect 2 and 3 would be backward compatible on the Xbox One. And this is good for people like me because I'm one of those guys that never played Mass Effect before. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm one of those guys. Please don't hate me. On to the next story. HBO released a trailer last week showing off their up-and-coming documentary, Beware of Slenderman. The documentary focuses on the story of the Wisconsin stabbing that happened on May 31st, 2014. Now, before I go any further, this is an actual story that happened. So keep that in mind. The story goes, in 2014, two 12-year-old girls took one of their friend, another 12-year-old girl, into the woods and stabbed her 19 times because they thought this would protect their family from Slenderman. The story is much longer than that, but I give you the main points of the story itself. The documentary is set to be released on January 23rd, 2017 on HBO. The documentary was initially revealed on, in March of this year at South by Southwick. If you're wondering why I'm talking about a movie, Thunderman did feature two games previously on PC and also on PS4 and I think on Xbox too. These games go by the name of Slenderman 8 Pages and Slenderman The Arrival. I personally played Slenderman The Arrival on PlayStation 4 and I have to say it's a very enjoyable game just if you don't mention that I have to look behind myself every time so often. It just goes to show you even white people are scared of white people sometimes. On to the next story. Last week was the release of Grand Theft Auto's online Deadline Mode. This feature is a Tron-like challenge that allows players to play well like Tron. Basically, a player drives a motorcycle leaving a light trail behind him and if another player hits that light trail, while well, he basically explodes. Like hitting an invincible wall, some would say. The new mode features some power up to give advantage to some player during the playtime. And it also comes with a couple new updates. Too. GTA Online has seen nothing but success since the release of their heist last year, also with a multitude of updates, features, and events. It was also rumored last month that there might be adding new location like Liberty City to keep the online going. I for one am happy to see Grand Theft Auto V being so popular three years after its release. And the fact that it keeps the saying, Crime does pay alive and well. On to the next story. Nintendo released the NES Mini last Friday and was immediately sold out everywhere. The console features 30 original games from the NES. These games include classics like Zelda, Super Mario Bros, Donkey Kong, and much more. In no time at all, the console was already spotted on eBay, selling for the outrageous price of $300 or even $2,000. I think this person doesn't understand how eBay works though. The console's retail price is actually $60 when you go buy it in store, which I suggest that you wait to go buy it instead of spending that much money for it. Nintendo released a couple of tweets concerning the shortage later in the day, stating that the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system is a hot item and we are working hard to keep up with customer demand. There will be a steady flow of additional systems through the holiday shopping season and into the new year. Now in the next one, I'm pretty sure retailers were thrilled to hear Nintendo say this one. Please contact your local retailers to check availability. Selecting participating retailers can be found here. Now if you follow Nintendo's big line of releases in the last couple of years, this is a typical strategy that they do every time. Step 1. Create big hype. Step 2. Underproduce the product so you create a fake shortage. Step 3. Make people go completely insane waiting for the hand size console. You know as much as I do that they're sitting on truckloads of these consoles right now. What do you mean they're not available anymore? Please just let me buy one. Just please 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 just let me buy one of these consoles. Please, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll even go to your store and give you a blow. On 
to the next story. All right, guys, that is it for last week's gaming news. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It was a very, very short week of not a, a lot of stuff this week concerning when it concerning news. Um, yeah, but it was still enjoyable. I talked about stories. I really enjoyed talking about. Of course, sometimes I don't make sense when I'm talking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thank you so much guys for watching and the support. Uh, there will be one more games this week. The last episode of the Extra Life uh, thing should be released one hour after this episode. So on Monday, uh, for November 14th should be in part 13, which I gave about a 15 minute um, thing at the end there if you guys want to listen to that. Uh, explaining uh, the, entire pro the, the entire thing I went through during Extra Life. It was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, thank you so much guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, please share this video. This series, I it's one thing about this series that I'm doing is I enjoy it a lot and I would like you guys to share it with everybody you know just to make it popular because I feel this is a good product that I'm doing right now. Uh, something that I'm keeping up every Monday as much as I can. Uh, it's very hard like days today where there's almost no news during the week. Not big news like uh, Red Dead a couple weeks ago or uh, Nintendo Switch or stuff like that, which those were big news. But I'm assuming it's going to pick up um, in the next couple weeks once the big games are coming out. Uh, this week you, you will find that I will be posting uh, Watch Dog 2 videos, those are coming up. And the last part of Orwell will probably be coming up too la later in the week, on Friday probably, because it usually releases on Tuesday, on Thursday. And then I play it that same day and release it the next day. So yeah, probably Watch Dog all the rest of the week. Uh, Tuesday, there's probably going to be something different, I don't know yet. So uh, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. L like, comment, subscribe, of course, like I already said. Follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. And Instagram also. I always forget that one. It's, it's still new. <laughs> and also right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I was your host, me time gamer, for this week's last week's gaming news. Keep on keeping on.